Uh, thank you, everybody. Um, firstly, just to say it's a real honor and a privilege to be uh, addressing you here today and getting that opportunity. And I hope to share some of the learnings from the community-owned group water scheme sector and the work that they have been doing to protect drinking water sources and uh, the wider environment. And I hope that that will assist you in your deliberations over the next uh, few days. The key message, I suppose, that I want to, uh, imp uh, I suppose, put before you this morning is that trusted community structures, such as community-owned group water schemes, given appropriate support, can greatly assist in efforts um, to halt and reverse biodiversity loss. And I think that's the key message, if I could try and get that across to you today, and I'll show you maybe why. Trust is essential to bring about environmental change. Trust is also the foundation of the community-owned group water scheme sector. Members of group water schemes put their trust into a group of people from their community to oversee and make sure that the water that comes out of their taps is safe to drink. There remains a strong network of group water schemes right across the country today, with over 400 community-owned schemes being active. Many of these are now investing in source protection and leveraging that trust to educate people living and working in group water scheme catchments about the necessary changes needed to protect water quality and the local environment, so that the next generation can have a safe and secure drinking water supply. In our experience, people are more receptive to taking action when asked by a local trusted community source, especially when they understand that the actions that they're going to take will benefit the entire community. The person delivering the message needs to be properly informed. So taking time to ensure that a trusted local champion are informed of the science is an essential first step. They need to understand what the problem is. They need to understand what action is needed and where it's needed. Multiple environmental benefits can be achieved by a single action to protect water quality. If the correct message is delivered by a trusted source, our experience has shown that it has a greater impact on the person receiving the message, and they are much more likely to engage in taking action. Many group water schemes are unfortunately seeing increasing levels of pesticides in their drinking water supplies. Pesticides are extremely difficult and expensive to remove from water. Working with communities to raise awareness and promote the danger of pesticides to the environment is therefore an essential source protection step that many group water schemes are taking. From a survey, however, we recently learned that people have a greater understanding about the impact of uh, pesticides on biodiversity as opposed to water quality. Therefore, understanding the co-benefits that can be realized and the importance of messaging, the National Federation of Group Water Schemes launched two new innovative initiatives in County Roscommon in 2019. The Let It Be initiative and the I've Planted a Tree and Gone Pesticide Free initiative. Both of these have been extremely successful in creating awareness, in generating community involvement and promoting activism. By way of an example, the manager of the Kerr Cree Group Water Scheme in County Roscommon, who you'll see in the bottom right of your photograph there, having launched the Let It Be initiative with the full support of his Group Water Scheme Board of Management, he engaged with the local community groups, including a local men's mental health group. Between them, they designed a very simple bee hotel, which the local men's group then offered to construct and provide one to every member of the group water scheme. This is a great example of communities working together for, uh, for the wider be benefit of the environment. This project is now being re replicated in County Mayo on a much grander scale with six men's sheds across the county involved. In terms of direct results, we've been very encouraged by the reaction from the farming community. We now have multiple examples of farmers willing to give up small parts of their land for the benefit of their local group water scheme by creating smart buffers in targeted areas to facilitate the slowing down or, uh, the, slowing down or, or the prevention of flow from overland sources when ground is saturated. The spaces created by these buffers provide opportunities to not alone improve water quality, but also to enhance local biodiversity. Again, achieving multiple environmental benefits from a single action. 
While our source protection initiatives are still in their infancy, we are starting to see very encouraging results. Communities are more aware, sorry, communities are more aware of the pressures impacting their environment and the corrective actions that they can take. People are engaging directly with their local group water scheme and are making sustained changes which are having a positive impact on water quality, local biodiversity, mental well-being to mention but a few. So ladies and gentlemen, going back to my key message, the social capital that exists within community structures like group water schemes is a powerful tool and it must be supported and utilised to its full extent if we are to address all of our environmental challenges we face today as a society. I encourage you to look at the additional material provided in the resources list and thank you very much for listening. Thank you very, very much.